The art of tracking and box office projections are usually pretty accurate in Hollywood more than 90% of the time. But every once in a while, a film still manages to surprise folks. The recent Brad Pitt film World War Z was predicted by many to be a colossal bomb at the box office with well-documented production problems and extensive reshoots. However, it soon became clear that the film was actually going to make the studio a little bit of money, and now it's exceeded that as well. Paramount Pictures announced yesterday that World War Z has now earned over $500 million at the worldwide box office, making it Brad Pitt's most successful film of his career. His previous best was 2004's Troy with $497.3 million. John, what do you make of World War Z becoming Pitt's biggest box office hit? Um, I, I think this is a good thing, actually. Now, it's important for us to keep in mind that just because it's his, it's made the most money at the box office does not necessarily mean it's the most profitable Brad Pitt film that now I haven't researched it, but I, that award could fall to another one of Pitt's movies. But certainly, none of Pitt's movies in history have made over five hundred million dollars. And you know what? This is a great example of. I was talking to a friend of mine about this. That whenever we hear about a movie after being done shooting, going into reshoots, we all think, "Oh no, terrible, terrible things." But this is a, an example of World War Z of where them going into reshoots was a good thing for the movie because when you read about how the movie was supposed to go and how it was going to end, it seems like it was pretty stupid. And <laughs> It seemed like they mm-hmm. thought, you know what? This is going to cost us some more money to fix this, but we know how to fix it. Let's fix it. And look, I'm not going to sit here and say that World War Z is going to be one of my top 10 movies of the year because it's not, but it's a film that I, surprisingly, I ended up liking pretty much. I, I enjoyed the film. I had a good time watching it. Um, all time great? No. One of the best of the year? No. But, but I liked it. And as a zombie film and as a global scale epic summer blockbuster film, I think it makes sense and is good for uh, Pitt that this ends up being his biggest film ever hard to imagine that it's bigger than like mr and mrs smith or or things like that but uh yeah for me it seems to make sense what do you think dennis yeah i'm kind of actually surprised you know as big a name as brad pitt is you think that a movie like uh oceans 11 or curious case of benjamin button or, or something like that would have been done uh, bigger at the box office and for me like world war z was it was okay you know i enjoyed it it wasn't anything special um so it is a little surprising that for me like you know i mean he he was great in like 12 monkeys but that wasn't like a huge hit or anything but world war z like this is like a um, huge worldwide hit and and it just shows the, how the importance of uh the foreign market is i mean everything it's it's uh i think a hundred close to 200 million domestically but it's like 300 million uh overseas and and it's just interesting because that's the way kind of movies are are going nowadays in terms of uh how people or how the studios look at profitability and it's actually kind of giving me hope for uh pacific rim i used to be on the other end of like oh i you know i i doubt they're ever gonna make a sequel but uh pacific rim is closing at to like 350 total worldwide. Getting so, close to 350, but it's yeah. still really short of where it needs to be to break even. Well, I mean, one night, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 getting into the ballpark of where they might think about it. So, and you know what? And, and the thing it reminds me too about how. Let's not forget, 500 million is a great number. And I think that because we're used to talking in Avengers numbers, right? We're used to talking about the billion dollar films. We're used to talking about, you know, Man of Steel, the $700 million films. 500 million is a great result at the box office, even if it costs your film $200 million to make. And I think people really like the book and they really like zombie movies. And this was such a different take on zombies that I think people were pleasantly surprised. Sure. Yeah.